Today I'm going to talk about one of the better Prime Day deals. It was this Fire TV stick for 15 bucks with two months of free HBO with it. You could also get the 4K version for 25 bucks. I'm going to open this box up, talk about the free HBO coming up on Thrifty AV. Before I get into the unboxing, I want to talk about the free HBO. My LG TV has an Amazon Prime app and on the Your Channels, HBO showed up the day that I ordered this Fire TV stick. So I now have HBO on my Amazon Prime account. And the HBO channel within Amazon Prime is just like what you would get with HBO Now or HBO Go, exact same shows, exact same features. Logging into my Amazon Prime account, I have Prime Video Channels HBO, renewal date of September 15th, which is two months after I order this thing, $14.99 a month. So I'm gonna have to cancel HBO or I will be charged $14.99 a month on September 15th. So I've been using the free HBO and I haven't even unboxed my Fire TV stick yet. So let's get to the unboxing. Well, it's heavier than I thought it would be. Here's the remote, two batteries for the remote, power adapter, and the fire stick itself. Important for best performance, use the included power adapter and USB cable. Well, I haven't found the USB cable yet. Nope. There it is. Hey, wait, what's this? Literature. Ah, uh, this is an HDMI extension. Nothing else in there. Nothing else in there. Just a quick look at the literature. What comes in the box, how to connect it. On-screen setup, Wi-Fi troubleshooting, 90-day limited warranty, advertisement for Prime, which I already have. So this Prime stick is going to go on this TV. This TV is 43-inch 1080p. This Amazon Fire Stick is 1080p. So I'm going to be putting it on here. If I like what I get, then I might get the 4K version when it goes on sale for my main TV. Remote's ready. Let's plug this into my TV set. Well, let's take it out of this first. Okay, there you go. Micro SD connection, micro SD cable. I can peel some more plastic. All right. Plastic peeling goodness. Okay, I have two HDMI ports here, a third one down here. I'm going to be hooking this up to HDMI 1. Fits pretty good. Now I need to run power to this thing. It's plugged in, but I don't see any kind of indicator light on the fire stick. I'm going to change my source to HDMI 1. Searching for your remote. Maybe I need to hit the power on the remote. Ah. So press play to start. 
English is good for me. Scanning for networks. Looks like the 5 gigahertz is going to work, so let's do that one. And you don't get to watch this part. Okay, it's now connecting to my network and doing updates. So now I'm going to sign in with my Amazon account. And you don't get to watch this part. Now it's asking for my password and you don't get to watch this part either. Okay, now it says registering your Amazon Fire TV. Successfully registered. Okay, it's registered to me. Do you want to use this account? Save Wi-Fi password to Amazon. I don't have any kids around, so no parental controls. Thank you. What brand of TV do I have? Well, I'm not using it on my LG. We'll see if on is listed on here. There it is. Make sure the volume is turned up, then continue. All right, so volume. The internal speakers on this on TV set are pretty miserable, but the volume is now turned almost all the way up. Next. With your Fire TV remote pointed at your TV, toggle the volume up and volume down buttons. Looks like the volume's changing. Yes. All right, we're successfully set up. Welcome to your new Fire TV stick. Use your voice to easily get to all your favorites from Netflix, Prime Video, Hulu, Stars, and more. To get started, press the microphone button and ask Alexa to find what you want to watch. Alexa, find comedies. Alexa, play the marvelous Mrs. Maisel. So many free movies and TV favorites. No subscription needed. Your next generation Alexa voice remote makes it easier to control your entire TV experience with dedicated power, volume, and mute buttons to control compatible TVs, soundbars, or receivers. Ask Alexa to switch to cable, like this. Alexa, watch Chopped on Food Network. You can also ask Alexa to help in so many other ways. Check the weather, order a pizza, play music, and that's just the beginning. To find more, just ask, Alexa, what can you do? Take your TV experience even further with Amazon Prime. Members get access to thousands of popular movies and TV shows, plus millions of ad-free songs, and of course, free two-day shipping. What are you going to watch first on your new Fire TV stick? All right, so choose my streaming services. I do have a Pandora account. Oh, I got to press and hold. Ale Alexa, play Game of Thrones. Here's what I found. And that's right, that's Game of Thrones. Well, it's TVMA and I run a family-friendly channel, so we're not actually going to watch this. I don't want to deal with any potential copyright infringement, so we're just going to stop this here. I'm going to go ahead and download CuriosityStream. This is a, another subscription that I have. So our idea is we could find that original symbol covered so that's working. I should probably also install YouTube. And I'm going to go ahead and sign in using my web browser. And my device is now connected. There's one more app I want to install. I'm going to see if Alexa can help me out here. VLC for Fire. 
Hey, there it is. That's what I wanted. VLC for Fire is the best open source video and music player fast and easy. All right, let's get it. Currently downloading. I'm going to go ahead and try to connect this to my network drive. Let's see if I can play some Thrifty AV videos. Hey thrifters, today marks the first anniversary of Thrifty AV on YouTube and I have something special in mind. I... That is having problems. The dent on the top of my Cooler Master case was severe enough that I... It might have something to do with the file format. On the video acceleration I did decoding acceleration. We're going to see if that helps with the issue I was having earlier. It was severe enough that I could not mount. Didn't help with that one. Softbox kits are great for both still photography. Didn't work for that one. Won't stop me from doing a little thrifting. Didn't work with that one. Well, it just can't handle my files. I'm going to try this one out. Archos Video Player and see if that works better than VLC. Cannot play video. It does not like my Windows Media file. That's an MP4. Let's try that one out. It was severe enough that I could not mount a fan on the top of the case, so I sent it back to Newegg for a refund. Instead of getting an identical Cooler Master case... It's uh, stuttering. It's only doing a few frames a second. It's obvious that the way I'm formatting my videos here are not, found, are not making my, uh, my Fire TV stick very happy. So I apparently cannot use this to stream my local YouTube content. I could watch it on YouTube. Well, the Fire TV stick had some trouble playing my local files on the DLNA server, but for streaming videos, the thing works great and two free months of HBO is something I can't complain about. There's some other things I could try on here like side loading Cody and seeing uh, what that can do. I'll do that in a future video if anyone wants to see it. If you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe. Thank you to my patrons for supporting this channel and remember stay thrifty everyone.